Hello friends, my name is Real Emil and welcome back to some more Need for Speed Underground. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play, this is episode 23, and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at a brand new car because, well, the uh, S2000 has been very good to us, however I would like a bit of a change, and as you can see every single car apparently is better than the one we're coming from. Ironically, other than the car which we're actually going to switch to, which surprisingly enough for me is going to be the Nissan 350Z, a car which I'm not actually a huge uh, fan of, but you know, it does look cool with some customizations, and yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Apparently, it's better in every single way to our S2000, and yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's start changing this thing up visually. Uh, what have what can we do? And add the uh, rage, which looks a bit interesting. Kind of like the frenzy, even though it does give it a bit of a fish mouth. Uh, Storm's pretty cool as well. Um, sniper's always cool. Um, I'm not actually sure. I'll come back to front bumper. Uh, rear bumper, right. What are we doing with the rear... Oh, we don't actually have level 3 rear bumpers yet. Okay, that's interesting. I thought we would have. Um... Well, in that case, until then, I, I kind of like the Renegade, so we'll uh, we'll have that. Um, I kind of like the Frenzy, so yeah, I'm gonna go for the Frenzy on the side skirt. Um, hmm, might go for Storm. Storm looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll come back to the front bumper again. Right, spoilers next. Uh, of course, we've got our Underground Edition spoiler, but there are some other ones about. Uh, what do we like the look of? The Hammerhead looks interesting. Um, kind of like the GT as well. The downforce looks stupid. Uh, as does the Carbon X. Um... I think I'm just going to go for the aluminum G... Wait, what was it called? The aluminium GT. Yeah, sure, let's have that. Uh, and we will s probably stick with the carbon fibre uh, thing, hood, whatever it is. Uh, roof scoops. Probably just going to leave roof scoops stock for the most part, just because most of them... Uh, I'll go for the rally, why not? Just switch it up a little bit. All right, accessories. We'll come back to those in a minute. I do want to put some headlight covers on this car though, uh, because it does look kind of cool. Uh, let's put angry headlights on it. Yes, I might actually uh, uncarbon fiber the hood for that, but we'll see. Uh, rear lights. What can we do? Uh, the Reaper do look quite cool. Um. Hmm. What you sure? Nah, I'm gonna go just for stock, I think. Uh, muffler tips, uh, we'll go for the Sonics. Uh, window tint, we'll probably keep that the same. Right, paint colours. What paint do we actually want on our 350? Um, red might look quite nice. Uh, any other interestings we can go for? Uh, I'd Probably don't want to go down the pearlescent route, but eh, maybe we'll uh, see something that catches our eyes. I kind of like that green. I do kind of like that green, actually. I think I'm going to go for that. Hmm. Okay, that was interesting. Sort of just off the wall. I just randomly saw that colour. I was like, hmm, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Right. Let's... Un yeah, it looks much better. Uh, so we'll go for the formula style, I guess. Right, front bumper. Can I actually decide on one now? I actually don't think the Storm looks too... With the headlight covers, uh, the Storm actually looks quite cool. So, yeah, we'll go for the Storm on that. Uh, wheels. Yeah, we do change the wheels on these, don't we, usually? Um, apparently, our style points have decreased somehow. Hmm. Uh, actually... OZ Super Ligueras. Didn't we use those on something else? I'm not sure what. Uh, racing hearts aren't particularly good. Um, yeah, I'll just go for Ninja Stars. They don't look too bad. 
Uh, neons, obviously we want a color that matches this car, so we'll go for the lime. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, don't really want to change, I don't know, I'm just going to have a look at the tail lights again. Um, actually, I kind of like the idea of those, with, uh, I might just go for the chromes. Uh, actually, I keep looking at it, I'm just like, hmm. No, sod it, we'll go in stock, because, yeah. Uh, paint colour on the rims, we'll go for black. Uh, spoiler, make it black. Engine accents, make them green, because, of course, it's a green car. Brake calipers can have the same treatment. Uh, paint them off the tips. No, let's not. Um, Alright, what else do you want to do? I do want to get some new vinyls on this car, so we shall remove those. Alright, what can we do to you? Um, is there any cool body ones, actually? Just to change it up a bit? Oh, apparently not. <laughs> well then, we haven't got many of those, have we? Uh, unique vinyls, maybe? Uh, the Samantha custom doesn't look particularly good. Uh, actually, I kind of like that. This is a weird colour combination of a car, but I actually don't hate that. Um, I'm going to go for that, actually. Sod it. Why not? Uh, decals. We'll just change these around a little bit. I'm not sure what we'll put on there. Audio barn. Uh, Blitzen. Can actually stick some on the uh, on here, so we'll have Brembo. Uh, um, Kenwood, why not? Probably won't stick one there. Hmm. No, I think I'll just leave it at that, maybe. Uh, so, what have we got? It was... Brembo and... Kenwood, wherever that's gone. There it is. Beautiful. Alright. Um, as far as anything else... Uh, rear bumpers, I will come back to do those later on, because, of course, we're going to unlock some more... Uh, rear bumpers as we play through the game today. Speaking of which, mods to the max. I think I'm liking our little visits. Wrong. I like seeing my upgrades win races. So prove to me you can win, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Apparently you'll trick our car out some more, so... Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get another uh, underground part for the car, but uh, apparently we shall. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to argue with that. I'm going to take a quick sip of drink. Lovely. Right. Let's do this. Let's, let's, let's do this. Right. It does get off the line a lot better than the uh, S2000 does. Might make a better noise as well. Uh, I can't really hear the noise all too well, but I know it sounds a lot more throaty than the uh, S2000 did. Already it does feel a bit peppier. I will say that much. Not quite as nice handling. Um, this definitely feels like a much heavier car. Uh, I mean, of course, that's because the 350Z, you know, as much as it is a bit of a darling of JDM culture, bro. Uh, it is a bit on the heavy side, uh, the 350Z, of course. Uh, not quite as heavy as the G35, uh, which is the car which sort of... Uh, accomplished this, I guess. I the basically they had the same engines as far as I'm aware. The 350Z was the slightly more sports orientated model, while the Infinity was the uh, uh, luxury version of it. I think they're based off the same platform and everything, though. So, yeah, it does sound quite nice. Actually, I can hear a little bit of that engine noise, and it does sound pretty darn cool. Yeah, feels a lot heavier than the S2000. A little bit easier to control, though. That's 
definitely the sort of vibe it's giving me right now. Oh, we're gonna... Bollocks. Also really didn't want to be in neutral there. Uh, 42 seconds to reach the end. Should be able to do so. Should. We'll have to see. Uh, 30 seconds. Ah. For a slight oversteery issue there. Right. Oh, we're going to be able to reach the finish line easily. There we go. Cross the line. I wish all events were uh, that easy, but uh, unfortunately, they are not. Right. There is 100 in the bank, a unique performance upgrade. Let's go and uh, collect that, see what we can do to the 350 with this final unique upgrade. So we can add more weight reduction, get better brakes, drivetrain, tyres, suspension, turbo, or nitrous. Uh, I think we're going to go for uh, Underground Edition Nitrous, actually. And I'll explain my reasoning for that at some point. Anyways, what well, we got? Drag race, circuit race, and a sprint race. Alright, drag race first. Number two's got to happen if you want a shot at being the champ on the straight. Alright, I, I saw the money for this race, so this could be one of the harder races. Uh, hopefully these races aren't quite as difficult as the ones we had to deal with in the last episode. Uh, because they were extremely dumb. Uh, hopefully these ones aren't quite that bad. I, I can hope. Surely. Sentra 350 and Narek 7 has shown up to this race. So our drag performance might not be quite as good as it was in the S2000. Also, just got to figure out where to uh, shift in this car. About there. Oh, okay. Well, that was a lucky escape, certainly. Ah, there is a very mad center on my tail. Oh God. Okay, that's. That's a very interesting drag race. I'd, I'd kind of find that fun, but jeez. Okay, the other 350 died apparently. 2 250 in the bank, uh, drag track, and we are second in the drag rankings now. So, yeah, only one more uh, rank to go before we become the official king of drag racing. Circuit dust. Ah, oh, six laps. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, sprint race. Uh, you don't get a second lap to make up for any mistakes on the first. The mistakes will cost you a next spot in the rankings. What's this one? All that stands between you and the next ranking are three punks, six laps, and a whole lot of horsepower. Sod it, we'll do the circuit race. Please don't be as bad as the last six lap circuit race that I did. Please. Oh, uh, God, if it is. If it is. It's just going to be crushing. It's going to be crashing. Just gonna, yep. Is that? To be fair, the RX-7's back, so yeah. Awesome. Wide body S2000 and a 350Z, which has got quite a cool livery. I've got a feeling we've uh, seen these guys before. Um, I know we've seen the S2000 and that, that 350 before. Um, and I've, actually, obviously, we've seen the RX-7 before. Yeah, um, okay, at least the game's got some consistency in the sense that it's like, hey, these guys are actually competing in the rankings with you. They probably are on the rankings, to be honest with you. I uh, haven't really looked, uh, to be honest with you. We did get a good start. This car does suffer a fair old bit from understeer. That, that much is definitely apparent. Um... I think this circuit race might be the one that I got to uh, last time before the game died. I know I keep saying that, but I yeah, I remember this circuit race, and I think I remember the 350 and all the cars here being in that circuit race. So yeah, I think this was the final uh, race that I ever did in my incomplete LP uh, that I did for this game, which... Again, you will... Well, those who watch the streams have seen, those who... Uh, don't watch the streams, um, yeah, it's the LP that you guys are blissfully unaware of, which is nice. Um, there we go. This thing does sound interesting, certainly. It is by far and away the loudest car I think we've had 
thus far. It does make a lot of noise, this car. I mean, it's all glorious noise. Good news by the looks of it, though, is this circuit race isn't actually all that difficult. Uh, this is a much better track uh, than that last leading circuit race was on. I.e. this track actually has, like, clear defined shortcuts and all the rest of it, uh, which is good. Oh, God. Sort of just going through there, trying to do it properly. Yeah, this green and orange colour combination is, uh, I'm sure it's not everyone's taste. Uh, in fact, I'm definitely sure of that. I'm quite a sure a few people are probably very unhappy with uh, my decisions when it comes to the 350Z, especially considering this car is very much a uh, fan favourite of uh, quite a few people. Uh, in fact, the free f this might have been the, one of the first ever game adaptations of the uh, production 350Z. Um, but yeah, I'm sure some people aren't particularly happy with what I've done to this car, but I personally actually quite like it. Uh, it's something a bit different. It's interesting. It isn't, you know... I couldn't just make the standard, you know, usual black and orange car and... Apparently we all twitched. There. Yeah, we all had issues there for whatever reason. Apparently the game decided it was not happy with that particular one spot on the track for some reason. I'm not actually quite sure why, but uh, yeah. Not happy. Do a bit more of a jump. A jumpity jump, jump to jump. Jump, jump, jumpity jump, jump to jump. Downshift, downshift, downshift. Uh, right. There we go. Grips nicely through there. On to the second to last lap. We have had a pretty um, good race so far. I'm not going to say easy because the game will just turn around and slap me. Um, yeah, we've had a pretty, uh, good race so far. Yes, 2000 is the car which is keeping me hot on my heels. Probably trying to avenge itself. Uh, the S2000 was a very good car. I did like having that car, but, you know, again, there's, uh, as I said before, you know, there's a lot of cars I want to use in this game, and I want to get through a lot of the cars in this game. I obviously can't get through all the cars in the game. Um, but, you know, one of the cars that I did have sort of outlined for use in this LP was the 350Z, because I didn't use it in Underground 2, and... You know, back then I wasn't a huge fan of it. I'm still not a huge fan of the 350Z now, to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, I'm sort of... I, I sort of... When I picked the game up uh, a couple of months ago, I actually sort of noticed the 350Z on the back. And ever since then, you know, I've sort of always wanted to customise a 350Z in an underground game. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's why we're doing it here. I have no idea what this uh, Underground Edition Nitrous has actually done for the car. I'd be kind of curious to see. Did I win? I have no idea what happened there. I won. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, I really didn't know what was going on there. Extreme Dimensions, Vinyl, 2250 in the bank, and second in the circuit mode. All of this is obviously good. Right. Anyways, as we carry on. Uh, oh, that was event uh, 99. So this is event 100. Mistakes are costly. You don't get a second lap to make up for any mistakes on the first. Also, mistakes will cost you in the next spot in the rankings. Alright. Final uh, race of this episode. It's, um, you know, it feels a bit of a shorter episode to me, although, you know, in terms of actual recording length, it's about the same as quite a few of the previous episodes. So, yeah. And then next episode, we'll uh, progress through some more, and, uh, yeah, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Alright. Oh, God, there's an eclipse in this race. Fair enough. Alright, take four. That last take did irritate me a little bit. This race isn't, like, that bad. It's just me trying to get used to the car. 
I do have to admit that last take did irritate me a little bit because it's like I got literally to the finish line and then it's just I saw a van and it's like don't crash into the van and the car ended up going into the van somehow so yeah uh, that was fun but uh, yeah so my 350 it's a decent handling car I do like it it is nice to drive them my S2000 isn't quite twitchy death machine like the S2000 could be it is more understeery though which means you do have to get used to that um, I didn't even hit the pillar, but sure, why not? Anyways, like, I seriously don't think I touched that. Um, well, if I did touch that, I would have just stopped dead. I didn't stop dead, I just stopped having as much forward momentum. Uh, I try not to understeer off into the, that. That would not be a good thing to uh, steer into. Neither would that. Right, let's use some nitrous just to get us competitive again. Right, traffic is quite bad in this area on this race, but we seem to be okay. There we go, downshift, upshift, downshift, downshift. On to the Celica. Come on, Salika. Get out me way! Beautiful. Thank you, Salika, for uh, kind of moving me around a little bit there, uh, which is nice of him. That's lovely of him. How thoughtful. Ah. <laughs> God, I, I, I don't want that to happen again. A bit of nitrous to uh, help us along here, and we have a pretty safe run to uh, the finishing line. Excelente! Uh, a couple more takes than I would have liked, but uh, still didn't do too bad on that one. 2 2 50 in the bank, second in the sprint rankings, and well, that's it for uh, for this episode, I think. Anyways, uh, next race, uh, another sprint race apparently, so join me for that and a bunch of other races as well, I'd imagine. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching, friends. My name's been The Real Meal, and until next time, farewell.